For the boiling stones, I used the quartzite cobble shown here. Quartzite is a metamorphic rock, and from what I've read, it works well for this purpose. I used about a gallon of water in a plastic bucket, then I started the fire. I let the fire burn for about a half an hour, and then I put the, uh, the boiling stones onto the hot coals, where I let them become heated for about 20 minutes. Native Americans would have used tools fashioned from sticks or antlers to transfer the rocks from the fire to the water. I put about four rocks into the bucket of water and after a few minutes it started to boil gently. Now the water could have been used to boil meat, to make soups or stews, and it was also used to extract grease from bone fragments. This bone grease was an important ingredient in making pemmican. Here you can see the water gently boiling. What I did next is I took some of the rocks from the water and replaced them with fresh hot rocks from the fire. And you'll see what happened next. The Native Americans were not the only culture to use this technique. Uh, many cultures throughout the world used fire-heated stones to boil water in the preparation of foods. As you can see next, uh, many of the rocks cracked as a result of being taken from the fire and put into the cool water. They're called fire-cracked rocks even though it was the, the cold water that cracked them. To learn much more about how Native Americans use boiling stones at bison kill sites, go to the website which will given, be given on the screen next and then select picture number 102.